everybody. I'm coming to you with a junk journal share. I am calling this book Dreamsicle. Um, the reason is, is because the color is kind of like an orange pink, which reminds me of like Dreamsicles. So that's what the book's name is going to be. This book measures a five and three quarters by nine and a quarter. Has a two inch spine. 108 pages inside that are copy dyed. On the front cover, um, this is an act, was an actual book. I painted the book all white. Put this white lace that was originally white lace on it, um, and then painted it with that dream sickle all the way through, around the whole entire book. Um, I did seal it with Mod Podge as well. The closure is just using lace. And in the front, I do have a little tie clip. Down here, I just layered some cheesecloth, an actual crochet doily, a paper doily in the back, some of these little sprays, these some tickets there, a flower, a broken piece of jewelry. This is um, one of those little kid barrettes. This is a scrap piece of paper. And I just put little tags in there. This one. This one I painted gold. And behind it is another little piece of paper. On this side, I just layer three things of lace. This lace, this lace, and then this white lace or white rosette with pearls. On the side, I just used easy twine method. And then I just hung little random big beads on the hemp. And then inside, you can open it by untying this or untying the clip. You just pinch it. So inside, just have loads and loads of paper. I made little waterfalls. Flip up, flip down. Copy dyed pages. I made um, paper pockets. I put a little price tag on it, a little charm, a rusty safety pin. These are just using book pages and just collaging on it. And then in the pocket, there's a big tag with just, just scraps. Um, this is an index card, and the back cover is paper you can write on. And then I put this in the back. It is. Um, one of my Cricut cartridges makes these little hankers. Uh, kind of like a doorstop. I just thought it was cool. So I just cut a couple of those out and put those in throughout the book. And then this is also just a little envelope. A dictionary page on that. This is a copy dyed envelope with nothing inside. And this is that ledger paper. I love that. It's just like yellow. And copy dot and everything. A little slip. Um, graph paper. And then down here I made little index cards that I also layered. And then inside you can write and then just take the clip back on. Dictionary page. Graph. Ledger. I don't know if it's ledger. Oh, legal pad. There you go. Another waterfall. And this one, another envelope that I made. Just layering scraps. Um, card inside, or tag inside. This just tucks in there. And then the back with copy dyed paper as well. And this is just the tag that I cut. Graph paper and dictionary paper with another one of those little envelopes or bags. Graph paper. Another envelope. Dictionary page. Another one of those little index cards. Just like the layering. This one. Or not index cards. Oh. File folder. Mini file folder. Plenty of space. Another one of those hanging tags. Another guest check. 
I use both the white and the yellow um, to get, break it up and just put a little safety pin there. Scrap paper. Another one of those little index cards, layering. Um, a lot of this scrap I got from a magazine. Um, you can cut it apart and make things um, with the actual pages itself. I just copied it on my printer and just used some of that some of that decoration. Another waterfall over here. Legal pad. Another envelope. Flip out. Dictionary page. There's 108 pages in here, if I didn't already say that. So there is a lot. When I picked out all this paper, I didn't realize some of them had like this, the graph. Um, when I cut it down the size, I left a little um, UPS thing to scan. It just was like, oh. But it just was so cute, so I just put it all in here and just grinched it up. Another one of those pockets with layerings. I just took a card and we're tagging that back. And then this is a side pocket. You can tuck anything you want in there. And then just glue down some paper. And it just tucks right in there. And these are all sturdy. Um, I doubled the page. So they were thicker. Same with the little file folders. It's two pages glued together. Just trying to use up all these scraps and the book pages and everything just just to use it up. Get it out of here. Another waterfall. Paper. Another file folder. <coughs> flip out. No waterfall. with the price tag. I just, this was actually like this, um, I don't know if I really paid a dollar fifty for it. Uh, I don't think so. Probably not. A broken piece of jewelry. Um, the rusty paper or safety pin with a guest check and everything. And then this is my favorite. And this is layered paper. Tag inside. Got an index card. A little journaling card in the back with coffee dyed paper as well. Another one with these tag. These just come out. Little index cards that are coffee dyed and stamped in the back. There's a broken piece of jewelry down there. All the stadiums are missing except for the three at the top. Just thought it was cool. I have so much broken jewelry bags and I'm slowly but surely going through using it up. Another one of those file folders, little file folders. Another book pages, a little tuck. pocket here and the back cover. This is another one of those paper make it look like ribbon. Another file folder. <coughs> flip out. Another file folder, a little tag, a little envelope. Copy that paper. Another one of the little envelopes. I mean, yeah. 
Little tack pocket layer. Sorry about that. This dog bothering me. Trying to get my attention. Dictionary page. More legal pad. Another dictionary. Just layered scrap. Just layered it on. Like I said, this will be listed on my Etsy shop. Um, the link will be down below. And I do thank you for watching. You guys have a wonderful day.